So I'm currently at Bedok Reservoir and we are currently in the middle of, of an event that we planned alongside Ladakh GC, um, Cold Run for Rights. So this is a um, collaboration between um, Ladakh, ACE and Diraja, which are all GCs in our school. And it aims to raise awareness and raise funds for the projects within um, each of these uh, groups. So for Ladakh specifically, we're trying to raise awareness and raise funds for their music and um, sports programs. So in this event, um, individuals have to run around Bedok Reservoir, uh, which is this reservoir that you can see here, um, and they can get sponsored for um, to, to raise funds for the projects. So one of the things that we are doing, um, woo! <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So as you can see, um, we are part of the group that is raising um, encouragement for all of the runners at this point. Um, and I think this um, event and its experience has really uh, taught me to think more about learning objective three, which is how to um, coordinate and organize cast events. So our Ladakhshisti personally was in for it was in um, charge of um, coordinating logistics, which meant we had to realize how to um, transport all of our materials um, to the reservoir as well as organize um, all of the individuals who are here working alongside um, the event. And I think this really taught me how to become more detail oriented and understand what exactly um, it takes to run events such as this. And I think it was important for me in understanding how, um, in, in, in terms of collaboration, learning how um, different groups can fit together to accomplish a goal mutually, which I think uh, links to learning objective five. So um, to talk more about this, I think since there's a quite a large number of people working on this as there are three GCs and in each GC there's a between 10 and 20 people there's quite a lot of people who have dedicated time and effort into this event but I think what this taught me is that everyone needs to work together towards a common goal to ensure that whatever we do is effective because it's so easy to get to go off onto your own path and try to accomplish your own goals without with in terms, and forget what the actual end product needs to be so I think I was able to develop these collaboration skills between the members of my, my GC and was, as well as the other members of the um, Run for Rights group to help me um, develop my own skills. And I think this can be seen through the way that we or ended up creating lots of documents and roster documents as well as being able to coordinate fruit um, to ensure woo, to ensure that um, everything. <laughs> yeah, one more. Water. Woo. So I think that really. Um, Help me develop myself and I think I was able to further see the importance of collaboration in an event such as this. Um, finally I think this uh, this event has linked towards learning objective um, learning objective seven which is understanding the ethical implications of our actions because I think while all of us all have our, our own personal desires to raise um, funds and to raise awareness for our GCs we need to understand that you know this is situated in a context um, where we all have to work together and how to learn how to um, be ethical in our um, way we're handling the event. So I think we all we have all um, taken steps to ensure that whatever we're do doing in this event is beneficial for the environment in the long term. So for example, instead of having lots of plastic and then um, and distributing food that fruit food that could go to waste, we've actually decided to um, coordinate fruit, which can in which the waste can be used for composting, um, which I think demonstrates the way in which we're trying to ensure that whatever we do is ethically. Um, is ethically relevant and is good for the environment. So I think this event has really taught me how to think about things in both the short and long term, as well as be able to coordinate and collaborate um, to create a, a large scale event such as this.